Hello everybody and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. So I was looking through these chapters to see if I can get a clue as to how long this would be. Obviously I can't. That's the last one I was on. Notice this image. Is that Kara? She looks very, very different. Like, doesn't even look like her at all. Alright, anyway. Continue. Last part, let's see, Marcus hurt Leo, which was good for me. I like that. Uh, Connor interrogated the suspect su successfully. He didn't blow up. He trusts Connor, and he told him a little hint about something. And Kara and Alice uh, stayed in a hotel with a guy named Ralph, who was another android. And this is where we left off, some dead guy in the water. Reboot. Who am I? Ooh, this guy got fucked. Is that Marcus? Is it? I can't tell. It's kind of dark. Diagnosis. Uh... Optical unit, impaired vision, corrupt mind palace. Okay. Ooh, what the hell? Thyrome pump regulator. All systems in low power mode defective. Nice. Uh, can I get a clue as to who I am? Is that a... Ooh. Left and right leg components missing. <laughs> Unable to stand. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, what else can I check? Oh, one of these. So. Audio processor, corrupt audio data damaged. Everything is wrong with me, apparently. Replace legs. Ugh, how do I move? Crawl. Crawl, random person. I'm gonna guess on Marcus, because in the flowchart, or in the chapter section, it was like the same Im image as the other ones with Marcus. I can't even tell. Does that leg fit in the shoe? Compatible. Hell yeah. Sit up. Remove. Goodbye leg. Eh. Eh. Nail it. See ya. Take that. Just imagine how, oh, plug it in, how easy that would be in real life. Okay, I found the right leg. Now I gotta find a left one. Can I wiggle my toes? That's how I know if I can feel it. God, he's really gotta fix these, his ears. It's, none of it sounds good. Alright, well, I got a right leg anyway. Push. See ya. What is this? Is this a body? Can I take it off this body? Push away. Who is that? Did I know that guy? Left delay component. Sweet. Oh, that one's alive back there. Are all of them alive? Okay. Legs are fixed. Now it's time to walk and run and kill whoever did this to me. Did I know this guy that I pushed? No. Hello, friend. Do you want to come with me? You are severely damaged. I'm going to leave you to it. Is this like... Android. Oh, Thank you for your service. Is this like Android Cemetery? It's just a junkyard. I guess we are parts. It'd be really weird in this game if you took control of a human at some point. 
lot of arms. What the hell? It's like a... Oh, the... Okay, don't touch me, please. This is like a horror movie. God damn it. Why are they touching me? I don't like this. Get the fuck... Off, bitch! Why do you care? Are you the guardian? Oh, look, there's some others walking around. Can I fix my hearing? My eyes, my everything? Okay, optical, pump, and audio. This- aw, oh, this doesn't even work right. Damn it. I had that same thought as I opened it. Friend! Nope. What was I looking at? This guy? Do you have anything I could take? No. Thanks for nothing. I think I'm Marcus. There's some guy moving around here. Where'd you go? Are you okay, dude? Wake up. Get up. Androids will take over. Okay, who else? Who else can I salv salvage from? Is this just where broken androids go? So they can- Oh, hi. So they can find new parts? How do so many of these androids, like, live long enough for me to say hi to them and then they just die? Like, I get, like, this is where the bad androids go. Why don't you just turn them off? Like, you just dismantle them and throw them into a random place. Audio processor, yes! Oh, I'm missing an eye. I didn't even realize that. I thought it was just damaged. Oh, thank you. How convenient. That guy's still technically alive. He had the red light on. Insert. Click. Ugh. I can't hear anything. Oh, now it's loud in here. Got it. What is this? Try climbing? Probably won't be able to make far. Nope. Where do I have to replace the damaged parts first? Then I climb out? Look at this guy trying to climb out over here. Let me help you, friend. Can I help you at all? There's a barrel in my way. Please walk around it. Can I help you? No, you're fucked. See ya. Okay, I gotta replace my pump thing. And my eyeball. I'll check that. Yes! Sweet. Two for two. Give me that eye. Hello. Hi. Good for you. I was designed to serve you. Yeah, not me. I'm another android. Thank you. Really? You don't say. Will do. Let me just see with two eyes first. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, I gotta replace a pump now. Oh, I got two different colored eyes. Did you have that in the cover? Can I use this now? I can. Okay, where's the pump? Uh, let me check around here. Uh, I wonder if like you can find different colored eyes and that would just change for whatever reason. Like, yeah, I'll come. Hello? Miss? Do we have a pump I could take? Don't touch her boob, Marcus. Sweet. No. Wait. You're too far gone. You got like no bottom half at all. Alright. Sorry about that lady. Come on Marcus, put it in. Shove it in. Shove it in. It's like the arc reactor for Iron Man. Okay. Other than a few more cuts and bruises, I think I'm back in good shape.
Sorry about that. The roots are long gone. Then again, I don't know that. You're a bunch of androids. What do I know? I'm just a human. Okay, back in working condition. Why? Why is this here? Whose idea was it to make it a junkyard of androids? Alright, let's get out of here. It's also a lot of android parts. Like how many? Oh. Whoops. Like how many do you get rid of on a daily basis? Come on. Keep it going, Marcus. All your parts are being replaced. You could do it. Oh, that one's trying to climb too. Sorry, pal. Should probably get a lower half. No. Another one. That one. I also wonder how many actually make it out of this pit. No. I held all the buttons. Get up there. You could do it, Marcus. You've done it. Well, I guess we know what happened to Marcus after he hurt Leo. Ooh. Yeah, the audio stopped. Hello, everybody. Sorry about that. Um, so my audio stopped. I think it stopped like maybe 10 seconds. I was still talking in the video. Turns out my disk space was full, so I had like no minutes left. Now I have 611 hours, so... Hopefully it works now. That's recording. That's recording. That's recording. Also, the OBS stopped. Hopefully it was recording all of it. I checked. There is file footage. Uh, and the mic is falling. Nothing can go right today. Is everything working? Everything's okay? Fix you. I think we're all good. Okay, back to the game. So, in case you didn't see what happened, Mark's got a new eye, new audio thing, new chest pump, so he can live. I may have killed a lady. Don't worry about that. Take these broken wings. Is that a shiv? Rip off. What am I ripping off? The LED? Why am I doing this? I don't even know I can do that. Am I disguised as a human now? They can't tell. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm also fully healed. I was pretty banged up. I'm guessing that pump. Like, sets off my healing abilities. My name is Marcus. He's out for revenge. Is that on fire? Or was it a reflection from that light? Probably the light. Okay. Um, I may have caused <laughs> the android apocalypse with uh, hurting Leo. Okay, so I did kill for the pump. I needed it. The other lady wasn't going to survive. I missed something. It was probably a pump on a non-living person. Find the optical unit. Um, don't know what the other options were there. Okay, a couple stuff I missed. Not sure what. Let's continue. Uh, Connor? Is that Connor? Yes, it is. Amanda? Who's Amanda? Is it my wife? Do androids have wives? Hello, birds. Amanda! This is a nice pond. What is this? Is this a rock bridge? What is this made of? Uh, where is this lady? Who is Amanda? And what does she want? What is this? Ooh, is that Amanda?
Oh. Connor, Mark 1. Ooh, he did die then. Died at 1554 Parks Avenue, Detroit, August 15th. So that was about two, three months ago in this game. Uh, sorry, buddy. Uh, it might just be the body, not like the memories. I don't know how it works with androids. Well, that was a sight to see. <laughs> now, who is Amanda and where is she? Is that her over there? She's golden. It's my eagle vision going off. Amanda? Is that you? Pretty sure I was closer. Hello, Amanda. She's trusted. Hello. Connor, it's good to see you. Now, who are you? Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you. Ooh, that went up a lot. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. With the, the deviant? The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the deviant? Ooh. Uh... He was traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. I don't think he was in the wrong, but it did kill. Completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? Um, he's unpleasant. I find him unpleasant and unprofessional. He seems to have an addictive personality, has a lack of respect for procedure, and despises androids, which makes our relationship difficult. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Adapt? I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best Damn. interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. I think that's the first time I went down with someone. More and more androids show signs wrong. of deviancy. Or did it? There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. Thank you. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Is there something you know that you're not explaining with the rest? Ooh. What was that yellow beeping? Look for Anderson. Alright, I'm warm with Hank. Am I? Oh, that line's closed. Okay. Hello, lady. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Look at my face. Oh, wait. Is oh, that's an android, too. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Thank you. See, androids are so nice to other androids. Is this where his desk is? Back here? Uh, where is his desk? Oh, I gotta find it. Uh, Reed. Brown. How's it going, Brown? Todd. Todd, uh, uh, he just, I don't know where he is. Uh, excuse me, sir, can I help you? Did you need help with something? Possibly a missing person or a missing android with a little girl? Huh, well, paths are finally crossing. Uh, Miller? These androids on the wall? Oh, Wilson? Nothing. Anderson. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Probably whenever he wants. He was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. 
All right, now I gotta wait. Do androids have cell phones? Can I play apps? You should start carrying a switch. Looks so awkward sitting there. Oh, that's what happens when you leave an android waiting. They wander. Go see the deviant or... Oh, I'll listen to this. He's got some sick beats on here. He is learning. Knights of the Black Death. Okay. Don't know what that is. Uh, I'm not gonna call him yet. I'll check out what's going on here first. Oh shit, there's a lot of clues. Okay. He eats donuts. 452 calories, saturated fatty acids, 13 grams, cholesterol, 19 milligrams, carbohydrates, 51 grams. Don't know what any of that means. Bunch of science talk. Coffee cup. Cold coffee? Traces of caffeine. Ooh. How long has that been there? Uh, is that ticket something? I don't know what that is. And uh, what else we got? Oh. Matches. Jimmy's bar. Wood. Phosphorus. Uh. Let me check out this stuff first. Detroit baseball basketball cap. 90% cotton, 10% polyester. Why am I switching all this? Anti-Android slogans. Use your brain, not your Android. Android free space. What? Is he for or against Androids? I can't tell. Oh, oh what's this? Red Ice Task Force 2027. A multi-department unit responsible for the Red Ice Network Dismantle of 2028. Didn't really work. It's still lingering. Uh, yeah, so that's him right there. He looks a lot like the actor. Wow. It's probably a real picture. Is there something else over here? Chair. Hairs. Canine hairs. St. Bernard Dog. Aw. He's got a puppy. It's probably not a puppy, it's probably a huge ass dog. Ooh. A bonsai tree. Or a Japanese maple. Asian. That's a word. Alright, let's uh, do a bit of this. Detroit Police Dismantle Network of Red Ice Dealers. Okay. So that was. Nine years ago, I think. This is like. 2038. Detective Anderson promoted to the rank of lieutenant. Good job. New record seizure of red ice in Detroit. Nearly a ton of. Wait, what are these in order? Uh, so that's from oldest to newest. Nearly a ton of red ice discovered in the hold of a boat after a long investigation conducted by Lieutenant Anderson of the Detroit Police Department. Police force. Okay, so still going around. He was a decorated officer. Was, huh? It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. How's it going, Hank? Hank! In my office! Why does that guy look familiar? I'll listen in. I want to be part of this. Give me two options to explore or enter. Have a seat, Connor. I've ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. Is that this two weeks ago? This isn't just cyber life's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. But I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! 
The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. I'll investigate. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prank. Plastic. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. He does hate you doing this them, to okay. Me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. I thought I was warming up to you, Hank. Uh, <laughs> I'll talk about him. I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey, hey, I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So get the fuck out of my office. Have a nice day, Captain. Okay, goodbye. Thanks for the advice. By telling me to get the fuck out. Uh, I could keep exploring. I'll check on Hank first. Or, can I find the Deviant? Uh, I don't know where he would be. What is this? It's another magazine talking about android sex. The three laws of robotic parenting. Family lives have never been easier. UN warns of World War III. Hasn't been one yet? Wow. Uh, President Warren had 33% approval. Don't know what that means. Uh, too many words. Ivanov says, Nit. Russian president responds to Warren's warning. Cyberlife's world first trillion dollar company. Trillion with a T. Lowercase T though. Look at that. No capital T. Global population reaches 10 billion. What are we at right now? Eight? Nine? I think we're at eight. Somewhere around eight or... Somewhere between seven and eight. Uh, all right, I want to see if I can find that deviant. Meeting room, break room. Where would he be? Is there something over here? Aha. Uh -huh. Is this the jail sale? Oh, it's OBS room. What's in here? Oh, okay, it's this. Why am I allowed in here? Um, can I watch? I can't hear anything. Where is the audio cues? I feel like Andy Samberg in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. <laughs> I want it that way. Oh, chills. Literal chills. Alright. Can I go in their room? Do their job for them? No, I cannot. Connor's smarter than that. Go out the bathroom. It's a men and a woman's bathroom. Don't tell me androids get their own bathroom. That wouldn't even make sense. People are probably confused why I'm in here right now. I don't even know what I'm doing in here. Hello? Can I take a shit? Where are the urinals? I guess it did man and woman. Can I even do anything in here? I don't know why I'm in here. Okay, let's leave. I'm just wandering. Uh, nope. No Android bathroom. Can't even get that. You're not the deviant. Hey, pal. Uh, he's having fun in here. I'm not looking at you anymore. Hi.
It's probable. They have to analyze your bio components. What's wrong with this hair? Is that like a they razor going wrong? What happened. I know there's something you didn't tell me. Ooh, can I get more info? I need to know before they take you away. It could save your life, but not really. A statuette? The sculpture you made. Tell me more about it. I'm going to die. That doesn't tell me anything. I thought I was nice to you. Okay. Thanks for nothing. What? Open the cell, quick. What the hell? What's he doing? Oh my god. Uh I'll call Cyberlife. Clean this mess up. He just killed himself. Damn. Well. No more info from that guy. Can I investigate him? Hmm. Hank! He killed himself, Hank. It was a disaster. I would have thought it would have been a lot harder for an android to kill itself other than going like that against a wall. Oh, I'm missing something. Uh, constructive. It's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Look at that smile. I'm still missing another option. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. I'm trying, Hank. This ain't a one-way street. You gotta come back. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. The one right next to you? How convenient. Sweet. Uh, is this my permanent desk now? I called dibs. Uh, dog. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? Oops. The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Just making conversation. Sumo. Ah. I call him Sumo. Nice name. Fowler. Uh, basketball? You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Should I be asking all these questions? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. That's some Did sports talk. That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. <laughs> How was I supposed to know? Okay, I'm guessing those options I talked to him about it. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Oh. I just talked to him about yeah, all of them. Too long. Uh, not really about the hours. Should I talk about the anti-androids? A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I, I want to see what he says. Is there any reason in particular you despise me? Other than this. Yeah. There is one. Damn it. Okay, let's just start working. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Back yourself out. I think I'm an android. I think I didn't know how to use this. Oh. Um. 
What is this for? The plaintiff reports that he left his Android at home as usual when he went to work. When he returned, the Android was never to be found. No trace of a break-in in the apartment. The Android may left may have left home without being ordered to. Oh, so these are just other cases. So it's a missing Android. Uh, case is open. Signed to Anderson. Uh, so just his parents. No crime. An attack. Open. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by a certain model. Android working as a waiter in the Fast Connie Dogs restaurant train situated at 842 Chamberlain Avenue. The plaintiff claims the android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man. Before leaving the scene, the android remains at large. Okay. Another attack case. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android, a certain model. The android also trashed so sure, pleh, the android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. They could fly? My god, they're revolving. Uh, the plaintiff, the manager at the Eden Club, ooh, I know the Eden Club, they mentioned that, reported the unexplained disappearance of a sex android. God, they exist. Uh, the android disappeared after, after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. Uh, attempted murder, ooh, Leo Manfred was found unconscious in his home of his father, Carl Manfred. He's alive. He's not dead, he's unconscious, might be in a coma, but who cares. The latter's witness uh, statement arrests a test to an altercation between his son and the house android. The android is thought to be a prototype, unknown model, and serial number, and was destroyed at the scene by attending officers. Oh, so they thought they killed him there? That's right, they shot him. Uh, hey, it was solved. <laughs> okay. Ooh. The plaintiff claims he was violently attacked by his domestic android. A certain model, the android had just returned from being repaired th the previous day and had shown signs of aggression in the past. Alright, so this case is still open. That's cool, we got Kara and Marcus. Alright. Obviously, I'm gonna go nice on them. I know what really happened. That's a lot more than I read. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An this has been going on for a while. To have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Hopefully, this chapter's almost done. Don't want this video to be too long. shouldn't let your personal situation hamper the investigation, Lieutenant. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. So why don't you just run your program and shut the fuck up? Determined. I'm not gonna threaten him. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. Well if it was That's up to me, good. I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant? I think they already are. Sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. I think that's Kara. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Go easy on her, Hank. Hank is impossible to read. Am I supposed to do threaten him? I was trying to be direct and determined. That didn't work. Alright. Uh, Hank got a lead. So is Hank mad the only option there? Hank is mad. No other options. Wow. Alright, so there was another ending. Um, there was something I missed at the station. Is that what self-destruct means? It just hits itself on the head? I thought it blows up. <laughs> well, that's different from what I thought. And uh, there's something else at the park. Okay. Well, that went on for way too long. Uh, I'm going to leave this one here. 
Thank you all for watching. Be sure to do it over down below. Leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you all in the next part. Goodbye.